15, you need to get up. I gotta get to work. Hurry up. Come on, hurry. I gotta give you instructions. Come on. Come on, Chris, hurry up. I gotta give you instructions. I you can't sleep all day long. You gotta be more responsible. I'm going boy, Mom. Jeez. Oh, to wake me up early and make me do stuff. Chris, listen, I gotta get to work. I just got called in. Here's a list of things I need for you to get from the store. Chris, wake up! You better right, not right, sleep all day. Right. I need that stuff. Jeez. Okay, George is asking me to pick things up for sure. Entire time, just weird, man. Four guys, man. Dude, I, I only got four three. I, I know, we're just pros. What is that? I don't know. Huh. What did you do? Don't worry about it. Clinic in Shawano, Wisconsin, after being comatose for no, more than three gonna, years. Sean, for more on this story, day. reporting live, Adam Steinbach. Yeah, I didn't want Thanks, Adam. Today, Jeffrey Gonzalez, who was involved in a hit and run accident with his wife, Marina Gonzalez, was released from the Shawano Medical Center. Jeffrey had been suffering a coma for more than three years. His wife, however, died immediately after the accident. Doctors say that other than Jeffrey showing signs of extreme hate, and promises to revenge his wife's death, he has made a full recovery. While the Shawano County Deputy Department says the hit and run of a married couple was a tragic accident, they say the driver should still be punished. 
Deputy Thomas quotes, it really is a shame that the driver who killed these two young people, or Marina Gonzalez, excuse me, is still walking around free. Back to you, Adam. Thanks, Adam. And after this short commercial break, your money watch up, mate. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Oh. 